Hello everyone. And this time, Wilhelm Steinitz is playing with the white pieces. And his opponent, who is playing with the black pieces, is Philipp Meitner. So this game was played in Vienna in 1859. And Wilhelm Steinitz starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. We have the Italian opening, bishop to c5, b4, Evans Gambit. Bishop takes on b4, c3, bishop to a5, d4, e takes on d4, and Steinitz cancelled. d takes on c3. Well, in this position, Wilhelm Steinitz sacrificed three pawns in the opening. What an aggressive, sacrificial opening by Wilhelm Steinitz. What an epic opening. After d takes on c3, we have e5. Bishop to b4, queen to b3 by Steinitz, attacking on f7, defending with the queen. Bishop to g5, queen to f8, knight takes on c3, bishop takes, queen takes on c3. And this game is a perfect example of the quick development, for rapid development, and for creating a beautiful, active, attacking position. Wilhelm Steinitz sacrificed. Three pawns in the opening, and right now Wilhelm Steinitz has a beautiful attacking position. So black has two extra pawns, but in this position, the black knight is doing nothing. The bishop is stuck in this position. Black has lots of inactive pieces, and black didn't castle, and black has the crumpy position. We have h6 by Philip Meitner. Steinitz played bishop to h4. Knight from g to e7, rook from a to d1, g5, bishop to g3, queen to g7, rook from f to e1, h5. But Wilhelm Steinitz is easily defending with h4, g takes, knight takes on h4, rook to g8, queen to f3, knight to a5, attacking the bishop. Well, Wilhelm Steinitz played e6, not defending the bishop. And Philip Meitner didn't capture the bishop and he played f takes on e6. Well, what was the idea behind sacrificing the bishop? If knight takes bishop, then knight to f5, attacking the queen. If, let's say, knight takes on f5, then e takes on d7. That's check. Also check with the rook. King to f8. And d pawn promoted to a queen. And that's checkmate. After e takes on d7, if king to d8, then queen takes on f5. So in this position, white can't even capture the pawn. Because then queen takes on d7. That's checkmate. So Wilhelm Steinitz is not defending the bishop and he is attacking. We have f takes on e6, and Steinitz played queen takes on h5, that's check. Knight to g6, blocking with the knight. Knight takes knight, queen takes on g6, and then boom, Wilhelm Steinitz captured the knight on a5, which was hanging. So Steinitz is a piece up. b6, attacking the queen, queen to e5, d6 hoping to kick the queen to somewhere else. But in this position, Wilhelm Steinitz played another epic move. Well, he played rook takes on d6, sacrificing the exchange. c takes on d6, queen takes on d6 by Wilhelm Steinitz and threatening to capture the pawn with the bishop. And after capturing the pawn with the bishop, everything is falling apart. So in this horrible position, we have king to f7. Well, after queen takes on d6, if a6, then bishop takes on e6. If bishop takes, bishop rook takes on e6. Queen takes, queen takes on e6. Well, as you can see, this is a disaster for black. So after queen takes on d6, we have king to f7, hoping to defend the pawn. And after this move, Steinitz played queen to c7, that's check. 
King to F6. Why King to F6? If King to F8, let's say, then Bishop to D6, King to E8, Queen to E7, and this is checkmate. There is no defense. So what if king to e8? Is it better? No. Bishop to b5, king to f8, bishop to d6, checkmate. After queen to c7, this is why we have king to f6. The king on f6 looks very defenseless, very vulnerable. And now Wilhelm Steinitz made his calculations and he played a very beautiful king hunting. He played bishop to f4. That's check. King to f5. Queen to e5. Check. King to g4. And what now? Of course, Steiner's played rook to e4. And after this move, the only defense is to capture the rook with the queen. So desperately, Philip Meitner captures the rook. Queen takes on e4. Queen takes on e4. That's check. King to h5. Queen to h7. By Wilhelm Steinitz. King to g4. And then f3. King to f4. And after king to f4, there is checkmate in one move. Steinitz played queen to e4. Check. Mate. Another brutal checkmate by Wilhelm Steinitz. The first official world chess champion. What an incredible checkmate. Look at the last position. Unbelievable. What a beautiful, fantastic chess game. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. And bye bye for now.